Question 4 says one mole of an ideal gas, initially at temperature of 1.8 degrees Celsius, undergoes an expansion at a constant pressure of one atmosphere to three times its original volume. Calculate the new temperature of the gas in Kelvin, and B, calculate the work done on the gas during the expansion in kilojoules. In part one of this equation, the only thing it's asking for is the final temperature. And we've been doing that now for, for two units. So we can use the combined gas law, and we can solve for the final temperature. So in the combined gas law, we, we say that the initial pressure and the initial volume is equal to the moles, the initial moles, times the gas law constant, times the initial temperature. And then, and then we divide that whole thing. And so uh, what we can do here is we, we can say that, that P1 o, V1 over P2 V2, and then we, we divide this side by the, the, the final moles, the gas law constant doesn't change, and then the final temperature. And so now we can cancel out anything that doesn't change. The problem tells us that the pressure remains constant. So if this is the same number, it cancels out. We also know that there's no moles added or taken away, so this is constant. And also the, the gas law constant it, the word constant is in the definition of gas law constant, so it doesn't change. And so what we have now is that the initial volume over the final volume is equal to the initial temperature over the final temperature. And here's where we have to uh, be a little bit algebraic. It tells us, it doesn't tell us what the initial volume is. What it does tell us is that as how much it increases. So it, it increases to three times the initial volume. So if we call the initial volume x, then the final volume is equal to 3x. And so we can set x over 3x is equal to t1 over uh, a t2 or t final. Now because 1 is the, is the coefficient there and x is redundant on the top and bottom, we can actually cancel out the x and we can say that 1 third is equal to the initial temperature over the final temperature. And with a little bit of algebra, we end up seeing that 3 times the initial temperature equals the final temperature. And the way I arrived at that is that I multiplied both sides by the reciprocal of 1 over 3. And so whenever I do that, I times both sides by 3 over 1. So both sides by 3 over 1, I end up getting 1 equals 3t1 over t2. And then I can multiply t2 to the other side. So I, I would get t2 is equal to 3 times t1. Well, guess what? I know what the initial temperature was. The initial temperature it gives me in the problem, it says it's 1.8 degrees Celsius. Now, to convert Celsius to Kelvin, I have to add 273.15. And so, uh, what I end up getting is uh, nine, uh, a 274, 274 274.95 Kelvin as my as my initial temperature. And so, I can multiply 274.95 by 3 and find out what my final temperature was. And so the final temperature was equal to uh, 824.85 Kelvin. This was Tf. Now the second part of the question, it asks us for the work done on the gas during the expansion. Now we remember that whenever pressure is constant, so the work always equals the area under the PV diagram. So if this is pressure and this is volume, we say that pressure is constant and volume gets larger, then the, the work is always this area under the PV curve. And so in this case, because it's a square, because uh, pressure is constant, we, we could say that pressure times change of volume is equal to the work. And so um, pressure, and this is the, the work done on the environment. So the work done on the gas, the work done on the gas is equal to negative pressure times change of volume. There's just one problem. We know, we don't know what the initial volume was. We don't know what the final volume was. We know by what magnitude it changed, and that's all we know. However, from the last equation, uh, the last uh, part A, we know what the change of temperature was. And we know that uh, pressure times the change of volume is equal to moles times the gas law constant times the change of temperature. And so we can do a simple substitution and put that in there. So work is equal to negative 
moles times gas law constant times change of temperature. The only thing we have to be aware of is that we have to have everything in, in units that will give us our answer in joules. And what that means is, in this particular case, we need to, our, our change, so the change of temperature from Celsius is equal to the change of temperature in Kelvin. So the change of temperature is going to ha be the exact same. So we don't have to worry about uh, doing any conversions on the change of temperature. However, on our gas law constant, we have to use the 8.314 um, meters cubed meters cubed times pascals over Kelvin times moles. And what this will do is you'll see um, because our gas law constant here uh, Kelvin will cancel out with the temperature and moles will cancel out with the moles and so we'll be left with an answer that's in meters cubed times pascals. Well meters cubed is volume and pascals is pressure so we have volume times pressure which is exactly what we needed to determine the work. And this will give us our answer in units of joules. So whenever we're done, we have to divide by a thousand to get our answer in kilojoules. And so the problem said that we had one mole. We know that the gas law constant is 8.314. And the change of temperature, the initial temperature we said was, uh, was so we, we want to know the final temperature. The final temperature was 824.85 Kelvin. And the initial temperature we decided was 274.95 Kelvin and so the change of temperature is equal to 549.9 Kelvin. When these numbers are plugged into our equation what we end up getting is negative 4572.123 and so like I said divide that by a thousand and you will get negative 4.572123 kilojoules.